This week, we are looking at causes for discrepancies and also looking into consequences. There are times when our processes and procedures build in punishment or negative consequence for high performance. Conversely, if there are no negative consequences for poor performance, this can be a negative impact on performance as well. Some call this positive reinforcement for negative behavior. The longer these mismatches happen, the tougher they are to change. Maker and Pipe this week give us several examples in our reading. Have you seen consequences that hurt performance rather than help performance? We will also look into several other possible causes this week. One topic is a skill deficiency. How do we know when we have a skill deficiency? Is this something that is used often? If a skill is difficult and considered critical but not performed very often, the organization should only have a few people who can perform the function. People have to stay proficient. This is especially true for tasks that are difficult and critical. For a task analysis, we measure frequency, criticality, and difficulty. When analyzing performance problems, you will also have to investigate if the people were able to perform properly previously and if a task can be simplified. We start building our case study this week also. You will be asked to identify the key issues in the case that you select. Maker and Pipe give us some great advice on how to go about this. We will be using our discussion forum this week to help define the key issues and hopefully gain insight from one another.